What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Ditch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to the Peter and Ab Podcast. Oh yeah, it's time with them Peter's Ab and put those headphones in because it's time with the Peter and Ab Podcast. Here we go. You're with Peace Peace Jr. and infamous Jeezy Weezy. <laughs> A.K.A. that that, that bigger. Oh yeah. <laughs> the real is bigger. The real is bigger. Um Welcome back to your favorite bi-weekly podcast. <laughs> it's like, this is every two weeks. This is bi- yeah, bi-weekly at this point, yeah. Um, so, we got obviously a lot of news. It's been two weeks. Um, Comic-Con's going on right now. San Diego Comic-Con. So a lot of news. But before we get to that, uh, last night, no, the night before, mm-hmm. I went and saw Barbie. Oh, you did? I did. How was it? I hear good things. It was really fucking good. Mm-hmm. It, it that movie had no business being that fucking deep. <laughs> <laughs> deep? <laughs> uh, it's it's really fucking good. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you plan to see it? I I don't know if I'll see it in theaters. Okay, I'm on I'm on the fence. If if maybe I'm bored, I'll go out. I'll find find time to go watch it. But mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna watch Oppenheimer first. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to go check that one out too. Uh, but no. Like, well, obviously, I had to go see Barbie first. I have, you have you know, a child. Yeah. I have a child, and she wanted to go see it. Her mom wanted to go see it, so I was like, let's go. Um, it was it was really good. It was it was fucking funny as fuck. Uh, but it had, like, it had deep, good moments. Mm-hmm. It, it's, do, you, do you mind if I spoil anything, or do you care about spoilers, or do you want to go, I can keep it spoiler free? Um, is it like a... Is it, if it's a twist or something, I would prefer you... It's Don't. kind of a twist. So the story is not what like it wasn't where I expected it to go. Like you know, like based on the trailers, it's you know Barbie. She's becoming self aware and mm-hmm. she goes to the real world. Mm-hmm. And shit happens in the real world. Then they come back and like it's like a whole mess. It's cool, mm-hmm. really, really good. Uh, it's basically it's a commentary on men, or men and women in the real world, like how women are treated in the world and how men are treated in the world. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a it's a movie about the patriarchy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's good though. It's it's really fucking good. Yeah, I, hear, I hear they're not like it's not like harping on men the whole time. No, no, it's no, not at all. Not at it's all. It's just like commentary. Yeah, yeah. It's it's <laughs> more of a comment. It's it's yeah. It's, it's not. Yeah, I wouldn't because if if it was that, I probably would have been like, oh, this is fucking terrible. Yeah. But no, it, it was done in a really well, like kind of self aware kind of mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Um. Like especially, there's there's a scene where like. They're trying to like it's like oh well, give them what, make them think you're giving them what they want, and then show them that other men are threats, mm-hmm. basically. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> like he's he's singing a song to her, and the, like it's they're all singing the same song to all their respective Barbies, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she goes oh hold on and she gets a text and then it's like oh it's Ken because they're all Ken and they're all Barbie yeah. like, oh it's Ken and then Ken, the Ken she's with gets mad. And then so she goes over with the other Ken. Isn't then, there I, just isn't there just one uh, Ken who's named like Glenn or something? No, there's Alan. Alan, and Michael. he's Ken's friend. Yeah, that's Alan. Right. He's an actual yeah. The, he, uh, that's the, Michael Sarah or yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he's, <laughs> so, <laughs> he's, great. So, he's great in it. Like oh dude, seriously like, <laughs> it, it's just like there's just all this stuff in it that's it's just like everything's very relatable. Like mm-hmm. it's like it's super relatable. Like these little moments here, it's like oh fuck, either you know someone like that or like I don't know. It's just. Uh-huh. It's really good. It, I, I I would recommend it. Um, I'd give it a solid eight, a solid nine, maybe. It's it's good. And it, it, it was one of those where it wasn't. I didn't feel like it was slow at mm-hmm. all. I felt like like from the from the intro, like it was it was funny enough to keep you going. And then like with with the way the story went, the the, the, the twists and the different elements, it was like it kept you engaged the entire time, mm-hmm. which which I really enjoyed. Uh, what's her name? Kate McKinnon. Mm-hmm. She's in it, and she plays the same kind of character she plays all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw um, 
she was on my dad was watching like a what was it Kelly Regis and Kelly the, mm-hmm. whatever it is now yeah yeah um and yeah, she was on it, and she they showed her clip, and like yeah, it's like yeah, basically what she is all the time. Yeah, yeah, she's just she's she's weird Barbie. Because <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, all the there's the different so it's like there's stereotypical Barbie, there's beach Barbie, there's there's president Barbie, there's writer like uh like they're like all of them are different like they're all Barbie, but they're all different types of Barbies. She's mm-hmm. a weird Barbie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, John Cena has a cameo. It's amazing. Oh, he does. Is yeah. he a Ken? He's a Ken. Or is he just a guy? No, he's a Ken. He's a Ken. Oh, he's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's 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 my favorite Ken. He's bodybuilder Ken. No, no, no. <laughs> he's uh, he's mermaid Ken. Mermaid Ken. <laughs> <laughs> he's got long hair and he's yeah, he's got a tail. That's, uh, that's funny. It's fucking awesome. Uh, <laughs> fucking um, oh god, why I, I knew his name the whole time we we're watching that movie, and now that I want to bring him up, I all I can think of is Shang Chi. Um, uh, Simu Liu. Simu Liu, yeah. Uh, he's he's the he's the rival Ken. Hmm. Um, at one point, um, right? What's it? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Uh, he reminds me of, of Logan Paul at one point in the in the in the movie. Oh, he does. Yeah, he basically turns into Logan Paul <laughs> at, a point, at one point. <laughs> he's, he's just weird. Yeah, he's yeah. I, I won't go too far into it. It's, it's good, though. It's really fucking good. Go check it out when you get a chance. Um, let me see here. Let me pull up my other story before I go into this. That's not what I meant to go to. News. Here we go. How far back did we go last week? Let's see. I don't remember. It's been two weeks. It's too long. Oh, IGN gave Barbie a 9. Yeah, they gave Barbie a 9 and they gave Oppenheimer a 10. Did they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to go see it. Uh, Doctor, did we talk? Oh, no, okay. Okay, no, okay. This is where I, talk, I sent the stuff for you from last week. Mia sent this one. Heartbreaking tale of Rocket McGroot. No. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Superman Legacy. That's where we left off, I believe. Nope, never mind. Wonka trailer. Call of Duty. Black Panther game. Baldur's Gate. Do we talk? No, Deadpool three. No, God we damn it! We had, there's a, sh- a lot of shit yeah. we didn't get to. <laughs> uh, we talked about the PS five slam. Okay, we, that's where we got Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad anime. Suicide. Suicide Squad. Um, we talked about that. Smoke and Rain. We talked about that. We talked about that. Okay, Jennifer Garner returning as Electra in Deadpool three. Which. Which I'm not. I'm. I don't know. I'm not a fan <laughs> of. Like that movie was garbage. Like it yeah. was hot garbage. Isn't Jennifer Garner like old now? She is. I think. I'm, I'm hoping it's just. I'm. I'm assuming it's just gonna be a cameo, and they're either gonna kill her or uh, make a joke. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they're killing the Fox universe. That's right? that's what it seems like. Yeah. Which is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Did you see the 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 set pictures of Hugh Jackman in the Wolverine yellow outfit? Yeah, the pictures, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he looks amazing. It look, yeah, it looks fucking... Like, they, it looks amazing, and I don't know why he never wanted to fucking do that suit in the yeah, first place. It looks, fuck, fucking dope. it looks fucking badass. <laughs> it, it looks fucking perfect. Like, I wonder if he's going to put the mask on. He'll probably put it on for, like, a scene or something. Because you know what I, what I would love to see? Or maybe in, at the end. Yeah, near the end or something. What I would like to see, because it's one of those iconic, like... Wolverine things that happens to him all the time. He's wearing the mask. Half of it always gets ripped off. So he's got the half mask and he's got the fucking other half of his face and the hair is all messed up. And it's mm-hmm. just, like that's one of those iconic Wolverine looks. I would love to see that in the movie. Mm. Who knows if it's gonna actually happen? But that would be cool. Yeah. That would be fucking epic. Um, <laughs> the Las Vegas Sphere. Have you seen this thing? The new stadium they're built in Vegas, or not? I guess it's not a Vegas. It's a Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a giant basketball. It's fucking. It's a giant it's just sphere. A glo- yeah, it's just a sphere in the middle of. And yeah, it's it's big enough to fit the Statue of Liberty inside of. It has um, not not only screens on the ex- entire exterior, but on the interior as well. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, seventeen thousand seats. It's gonna be a massive stadium, and uh, like. The X here is just going to constantly shift, depending on what's going on inside. Uh-huh. It's just going to constantly shift, and then based on holidays and things like that. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, look at the fucking eyeball. 
so on weird. the outside. Oh, you yeah. said the exterior. I thought you were saying the interior. No, that's the exterior. Um, the interior, it has the setup to do 4D movies or 4D experiences. Mm-hmm. So it has like weather, climate, like weather control. You can do wind and rain and snow on the interior mm-hmm. uh, as well as smells. And then obviously the, ex- the interior is also covered in screen. The smell of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the fir- <laughs> it opens in September, I believe. And the first uh, performance is going to be there is U2. Whack. I know, right? <laughs> of all people. Of all oh. people, yeah. But I can see them use, utilizing that actual yeah. whole 4D experience. Well, Matt, well Mark Revier. Right? Play, play it in the sphere. <laughs> well, well, I think we have to go see him in Vegas. Gonna, yeah, that's like the only reason I'd ever go to Vegas now. Yeah, he's going to have a res- residency, so that's going to be cool. I do want to see that. Uh, UFC and our EA announced UFC five. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was inevitable, but those games are garbage now. Like after the second one, I feel like they've been declining steadily. Declining. Yeah, for sure. Because I don't know. I don't know what it was. The it, it has to do with the blocking for me. Yeah, it was like the the block. Yeah, the blocking and parry system. They just really like bastardized it. Yeah, yeah. Just, I know, feel like the grappling too. Like. I feel like they had it really well in, in part two, and then they kind of they changed it up to make it easier, mm-hmm. and then like they just like they implemented things it's like now it's like oh you got to hold this and then this and then you can do this and it's like, like it's just like I feel like they overcomplicated it. Yeah, they tried to make it like a Tekken. Yeah, like a Tekken level of depth. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. Like, I, I mean, most of the time, if I'm playing that game, like, anytime I've ever played it, it's like, you, you usually just end up boxing, because, like, grappling Because grappling is so boring. Yeah. yeah. It's just terrible. Um, but then I was, what sucks is if you get, if you actually fight someone who's really good at grappling, then you're just fucked, because now, like, oh, I can only well, box. I don't even know how to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, I, I just, like, quit. All right, you got me. Oh, oh shit. All right, you got me. <laughs> um... The one thing I did like about the last one was the fact that they had other arenas. Like, they had the Kumite, and they had, like, just different... Mm. Like, they had the backyard. Oh, had, okay, okay. Like, they had different arenas, so you're not just... Because, okay, it's like Madison Square Garden, and then they have uh, the MGM... Grand, but it's like... They all look the same. They all look yeah. exactly yeah. the same. You know, the only difference is the fucking, like... Maybe the, the when they when they do the exterior, like, the wide shots, uh-huh. like, that's a little different. And then the fucking, like, the little pad... Yeah, and so the, the, the ads on the, on yeah, the ring are different that's because... It. It's a new, yeah. Because it says the MGM Grand. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> difference. It's like, I like throw, like, yeah, okay, we have those arenas, that's cool. But, like, yeah, the, like the backyard was cool, the Bakumate was cool, like, they add that shit, keep that shit in there as well. Um, I mean, obviously, we'll end up checking it out because. Because. <laughs> because. <laughs> um, Baldur's Gate 3. Everyone's just super hyped about this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. But this game does look awesome. Yeah, no, no, the game does look great. But then they you, they just they announced that you can have sex with a bear, <laughs> a druid in, in a bear, bear form. form. Yeah, so it's, it's a druid in a bear. So what was funniest to me was so IGN posted. This is the the the, the headline that IGN posted: Baldur's Gate Three lets you have sex with a druid in bear form. But are are you having sex with the druid, or is the or is the druid having sex with you? Um, who's pitching who's catching in this that's scenario a, you know what I think maybe it's a switch kind of scenario that's what, <laughs> it's like that scene from Super True where he's just banging the bear <laughs> uh, the other thing that I saw was it was uh, oh, I thought I had sent it fuck but the other headline uh, it was GameSpot was Baldur's Gate 3 lets you have consensual Sex with a bear. I thought I, I never thought it was a question whether it was <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah. Oh, you get a rape a bear. <laughs> Where this is our selling point. You get a rape, <laughs> rape the bear. shit out of this bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like you know, like certain okay, like for the Witcher, for example. Are you like, tired of all this consensual sex in <laughs> in video games? And here you go. You get to rape this fucking bear. You get to rape. <laughs> you know what? I, I, when I read about the consent, I, I, my brain went the other way around. It was I, I went more with the, uh, oh, what's that fucking, uh, uh, the movie with fucking Leo when he gets banged by the bear? 
movie with who? With Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, um, Revenant. Rev- 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 Revenant. Revenant. Rev- yeah, I was. Yeah. I went that way when they said about consensual sex with the bears. Like you're just running through the woods. <laughs> no, please <laughs> no. The bear catches you. Well, see, that, that's the question: of who's pitching? Who's catching? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> if you, if you get to just go around just banging bears, it's gonna be like you know, like Red Dead people just hunt. People don't even play. Like, they just hunt. Yeah. It's gonna be that one guy. That's what <laughs> you just, just go around banging just go around bears. Banging bears. <laughs> He will not stop until his seed is inside every bear. So the crocodile, he's a bear pig. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Crunch. It's the bear banger. <laughs> um, and because of that announcement, I guess the... <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 is now the most popular... It's more popular than ever thanks to Bear Sex Reveal. Uh-huh. It's, just, it's just taking it to a whole nother level. Did you see they uh, that the the developers said that there's like 172 hours of cutscenes? God damn, that's fucking awesome. Um, see, I, uh... F- fucking Final Fantasy 16 is damn near 40 hours of cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. But see, I, I mean, I'm thinking that's also side quests. That's also it's not just. Yeah, main but, story. Yeah, but still cutscenes. Like, yeah, that's a like lot of. I, see, I'm okay with that though. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're not boring. I love cutscenes. So. Like what? How many? How many cutscenes? Metal Gear Solid Four used to get shit because it had like, and it had long ass cutscenes. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a lot of people compare Final Fantasy Sixteen's cutscenes to Metal Gear's, to, MGS Four. So Metal Gear Solid Four had seventy one. Uh, that was it, that's the current longest. Uh, that's the current uh, uh, record for mm. longest cutscene in a video game. So that's one cutscene with seventy one minutes. <laughs> seventy one minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um. And that's the epilogue. How many minutes in total? Is ninety minutes total? So it's not too bad. So it was only twenty minutes. Twenty of minutes cutscenes of, uh, before that. I guess so. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, seventy one minutes in one cutscene. That's yeah. why that's why Metal Gear gets like Final Fantasy has like maybe like a a lot of peppered through like maybe 10, 15 minute cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. Like that to watch. Which isn't bad. Uh EA announces a Black Panther game from the former Shadow of Mordor devs. Mm-hmm. Which Shadow of, I didn't play I actually I played bits of it. And I enjoyed what I played. I've heard good things about it. I haven't really heard anything bad about it. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Because as long as they don't fuck it up like they did with Avengers, I'm good. No, that was Squeenix that did Avengers. Uh huh. That was an EA. Wait, what game are you talking about? The Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Then EA, EA has done a Marvel game too, though, haven't they? No. Star Wars. Oh yeah. Okay. Then I'm good with that. I I feel like they might do well. So I mean, uh, fucking. This, the EA game is the is what game is it? It's the. Oh oh, I'm thinking of the Star Wars game. What's the star? Is the Star Wars game that EA is doing? That's uh, oh, oh, that's uh, Ubisoft. That's. Is it Ubisoft doing that one? Yeah. I thought it was EA doing that one too. So it's not. It's not. That no. Was... It's Ubisoft doing that one. Oh, EA, EA does the, the Survivor. The yeah, Survivor. they do Survivor. I thought they were doing it with this. What's the new one called? I'm, I already forgot. I Fuck, know. I forget what it's called too now. So that's that's Ubisoft. I thought it was, I don't know why this assumed it was EA. Mm, that was Ubisoft, yeah. Um, but so yeah, EA is doing a Black Panther game, which I'm. I mean, based on Shadow, like what, like I said, what I've heard of Shadow of Mordor and what I've played, I'm good with that. I feel like I feel like it would lend itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see her double fangs on the on the front. And oh the yeah, bottom. she still got her baby teeth in, mm-hmm. but her oh, so it's like their her adult teeth grew. Yeah, so. and she got them on the top and the bottom. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> the boys have invaded Call of Duty. Yeah, I've seen the skins. I ha- I haven't played Warzone since they've added them. The skins look cool. The skins do look well. They I they, they did a good job. You been playing? Yeah. Oh, nice. You play? Have you played Warzone with it or no? Um. Oh, with the skins? Or not with the not not with the skins? Like since they've added the skins? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. So have you seen any of those skills being used? Like the, the powers, yeah. yeah. Uh, the powers only in... Uh, I guess it's in everything but ranked. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, the powers are cool. But like the... There's like the shock power. That's basically just like a shock charge. Like, you know, the shock charges you throw? Yeah, yeah. It's basically just that, but you just like... You just pulse it. Yeah, you pulse it at them. And you get like two charges on that. Okay. And then there's teleportation, which in Warzone will like... I don't know if you ever played Fortnite, but there's a thing where, like, you shake the snow globe and you, like, just fly up into the air. Oh, yeah, yeah. You teleport in the air and then just get a free drop. Oh, nice. Drop okay. And then, and then you get the Homelander's laser yeah, eyes. Yeah. But that one kind of sucks because you stay, you stay, like, stationary. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking at. I was, I was <clears> but looking I think at... you get a little more health. While but, you're doing it? Yeah, but you're stationary. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, it looked like there was a chart. Like, cause you have to do. Do they have to do the injection every time? Does it do the animation? No. So whenever you pick it up, you have to do. You have to inject yourself, and okay. then it'll give you a random one of those powers. Oh, okay. And then once you have, once you do that, then, then you, you can use, use it whenever. It. Okay. But if you pick up a another field upgrade off the ground, it'll go away. Ah, okay, once okay. you've done that, if you have, if you sell the injection, you can pick it up again. But uh, if you've used it and then picked up something else, then it, yeah, you it disappears. Lost the chart. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's what else, good, what else is there? There's the teleport, electric, lasers, the jump. and the jump. Yeah, the super jump. Super jump. It's like the whole jump where you just... Yeah, you just fucking leap. Yeah. <laughs> you can leap to, to the top of a building. Nice. That seems like it'd be fun. I'm going to have to check it. I'm going to have to jump in then. Um, oh, is it, I wonder if it's in the DMZ. They have the powers in the DMZ. I think they say it is. I, I think it is. I'll check. I don't know. I have I haven't played much this season at all. Like I've jumped on a couple games here and there, uh-huh. but I haven't really played much this season. Um, yeah, I, I started playing it again because Destiny's been slow. Okay. And then Diablo Four is kind of like in the mud now <laughs> with their last update. Oh. Uh, what did the last update do? Uh, so it just it implemented its first like battle pass season or whatever. Oh. Okay. Uh, and and it really like it was, like they really really fucked, it fucked up. everything up. Um, let me see here. And then also with their model, like you have to, you have to make a new character every season, basically to take advantage of the seasons. Oh, that sucks. And like you can, you like, if I just bought the game, I could just play the game, play through the story, and level up my character to fifty, whatever. Yeah. But if you want to like level up your season pass, uh, the more like you're not gonna get jack shit if you just stay on that one character. It's most like. You probably won't even finish the battle pass unless you make a new character and play it, play it through. Oh, that sucks. So it's kind of like whatever. Like I don't really want to do that over and over. And over. Oh yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's. I guess it's trying to force you to play maybe play different classes or just. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't understand why that would why they would make you go through that again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because you're over too level. You're too over leveled, and it'd be easier for you to. I don't know, but it's not like you're playing new content, right? It's yeah. Like, like you're playing the same story over, over and over. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, I'm assuming uh, they they would have to have some news like story missions to play, but I'm assuming it's nothing compared to. Yeah. Overall. Um, yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, that. Seems, I, I wonder if they'll change up maybe after the feedback or. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's for right now, it's seeming like people are fucking rioting over it. So. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, I mean. Sometimes the developers realize it, and they will make the changes. Other times they're just like, "Fuck you guys! We yeah. got your money. We're right. You're wrong." <laughs> um, did you see the trailer for uh, Twisted Metal? Where they tell you they basically tell you what the story is. No, I didn't see the new. I didn't see a new one though. So yeah, it's a, it's a new new trailer. Um, so basically, the story is Anthony Mackie's a delivery driver. Mm-hmm. He's, he's UPS. He's fucking Amazon. Right. And the world has gone through some kind of change, and it's post-apocalyptic. And like there are, there's like, there's L.A., there's Chicago, there's New York, and that's it. Like now, I mean, just off the top of my head, there's, those are the three cities that are left, mm-hmm. and the, everything else is just wasteland and raiders. Mm-hmm. And so, he's being paid to deliver to pick something up and then deliver it somewhere else. Why are the three biggest cities the only cities? <laughs> no, no, that's not. The, that's not. I, those are just the ones that oh, okay. in my head. It's like I just picked those three out of, say, the, like, out of those cities. I feel like those ones would collapse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I feel like more people would flock to those cities though, because it's like, well, let's get to the city. 
because they're stocking everything. They're they're building walls around everything around it. Yeah, sure, but I, I'm just saying, like, because it's, it's already even now in a non post Oh yeah, super, and it's yeah. already fucking packed and shit. Like, if you have more people, where those are the only three cities. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> It'd be a fucking mess. It, it would be. It would be. Um. So I mean, at least they're trying to. It gives a reason. Like, oh, and no, at, at one point in the thing, he's when he's talking about like. Uh, about the raiders and the wastelands, and you know, he goes, "That's why there's car. That's, that's why there's guns on cars, right?" Mm-hmm. Or like, or he goes, "So that's why we have the guns on cars thing." Uh-huh. <laughs> like, kind of like, like, Don't question was, it. Just yeah, go with it. Yeah, that's that's why. Um, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna give it like two episodes, <laughs> and if it's as bad as I think it is, then I'm not watching. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, then the the new Wonka trailer. It's a prequel. I didn't watch the trailer, but a little, but the pictures I, I've seen images and mm-hmm. it looks cool. I like it. The the trailer the trailer looks good. Uh, what's his name? Hugh Tim- Grant is oh. a is a wonk is a not a wonk. He's a Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. He's he's like the OG Oompa Loompa. Apparently, he's the one that introduces himself to to Willy. To Willy Wonka, yeah. Yeah, and he's just like, hey, we're Oompas. Yeah, you want to enslave my people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what I like is in the trailer that he like he pulls out his little flute and starts to, like you know before they sing the song. They do the little, mm-hmm. and he starts singing, and, and Wa- Willie's trying to. Willie Wonka's is like, no, 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 no. He goes, no, too late. Once we started, we can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> he just got goes into the song. Um, the judge rules in favor of Microsoft in the FTC trial. Uh, so the merger, setting up the merger. The merger hasn't gone through. They haven't completed the merger, mm-hmm. but their the merger is no longer being blocked. I thought I saw something where the FTC put another thing on it. Oh, did they put another thing on it? Let me see. Another suspension to uh, till November or September or something. Let me see. I saw one where, like, right after it went through, they said something about it failing. Mm-hmm. And then I saw another thing about... I don't know if it's, like, something different that they're doing... So as of four days ago, the Microsoft Activision Blizzard merger has been approved in several markets, including Europe, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Serbia, Chile, Japan, South Africa, South Korea, and China. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's been approved. Um, And then this was three days ago, FTC withdraws its in-house challenge to Microsoft. So... Looks like everything's good to go now. Oh, okay. Um, and then Microsoft has to extend their deadline. So they're 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 paying six. They're, they're planning to pay sixty nine billion dollars to take over, uh, but they had to extend the deadline now because they they reached their limit already. Where like they're like it was supposed to be done by this day. Now obviously because everything went on, they have to extend it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's still it's still no guarantees that it's going to go through, but more than likely it will. I know they did announce... Let me see if I have it here. Uh, what, the Call of Duty PlayStation deal? Yeah. So yeah for they, 10 years. For 10 years, yes. So I know PlayStation's like... <laughs> like they're still pissed about it. Yeah. But, I mean... I mean, they got 10 years, but... I think it'd be dumb if they put Call of Duty uh, exclusively. Yeah, I agree. To Xbox and play, PC. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I mean, obviously it, the 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 game it's a lot has, of money out of their pocket if they did that. Yeah, just they, to, exactly just for like petty, being petty. Just for being exactly, exactly. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I mean, and and I feel like, like I like Call of Duty. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, I I mean, obviously I've played the I've gotten the last four, five, four. I think, mm-hmm. uh, but if it wasn't, it's not gonna break my heart if it's not on PlayStation. I'm like, oh fuck, that sucks. Mm-hmm. Now I have time for other games. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Because that's one of the things that Call of Duty does. Like, it, it just consumes everything else that you're doing. Yeah, because yeah, there's like there's times I'll be especially like if I'm if that was the last game I'm playing. Mm-hmm. Like so, like I'll take a like, say I took a break from Survivor. Like oh, I'm gonna jump a couple games on uh, Call of Duty. Now, I'm like, let me see, what am I going to play? And then, like, oh, Call of Duty's already open. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just left it a rest mode. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's already open. Yeah, some this? So. Um, they're going to make another 20... Remember 28 Days Later? Yeah. And they did the sequel 28 Weeks Later? Uh-huh. And they did 28 Years Later? They did 28 Years Later. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, um, which I'm curious to see how they would do that. Like, what, like, uh, because most zombie apocalypse or most zombie movies, like, you're not further, you're not more than, I don't think, I think more, more than five years into an apocalypse. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even straight, uh, even uh, Walking Dead, I think it was only. Walking Dead was the grand after. Yeah, right? Yeah. But, like, I think over the course of time, it's been, like, ten years. It's, yeah. Because, like, Carl was, like, fucking eight, and then he's, like, twenty and <laughs> by the time he dies. So. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm curious to see how they would do it with, like, because, you know, 28 days later, obviously, it's a fresh, and like, it just happened. It's been going on less than a month, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and then 28 weeks, you know, it's been going on for a while now. Mm-hmm. We're surviving. So now it's 28 years later. Zombie, do, the, has society rebuilt? Are zombies just ruling the earth? Is like, fucking shit up out there? Or? Yeah. Because I feel like 20, in, within 28 years, there'd be, at least be some kind of society built back, you know? Maybe. Yeah, probably. It'd be like Fallout, right? Like, yeah, like, like, like we'd have, like, we'd have like some kind of society. Z- zombies are like, okay, we, like, it's fucking, there's, there's fucking wild animals and there's zombies. Like, as long as we don't fuck with the zombies, they don't fuck with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, we, we were like, or we, like, a fucking zombie repellent has and then, been And then eventually zombies have to decay, right? Yeah, they decay to a point and where then, they're no longer. And then, like, you just have to figure out how to not make more zombies. <laughs> Yeah. So and you just like humanely kill the people before they die or whatever. Yeah, you quarantine. Right it's like them. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> you quarantine. You humanely kill the ones that. <laughs> yeah. You stab them. You know, you do the Walking Dead thing where you stab them in the back of the head. Base of skulls. It's over. Yep. Pain right is. after they die. Yep. Right after they start to like. <laughs> yep. That's it. That's it. Uh, let's take a quick break and then we can come back after a word from our sponsor. What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. Amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R E P P S P O R T S dot com. Again, use coupon code T R P S uh, for fifteen percent off your order and to let them know that we sent you. Welcome back to the hey, Peter and Out podcast. Back. One more game. Um, Change location. Yes, that we are now exterior. So if you hear any of the soothing sounds of nature, it's because we are now outside. Or an AC unit. Or yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an AC unit. Um, I don't know. I think it's far enough that it's not picking up. No, it's definitely not picking up. I'm just <laughs> saying the noises around us. Yeah. Did you ever watch Alita Battle Angel? No. No? I never, I never was never interested in it. I saw it. It's not, it's, it's, it's a good movie. It's not terrible. Plus, it's, I'm also, I'm, I, I feel like I'm, I'm more and more not a James Cameron fan. And at that time, I was like, James Cameron sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just announced he's doing another one. He's doing the sequel. James Cameron sucks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got, like, such a big head about fucking Avatar. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's fucking Endgame had to beat Avatar by releasing it a second time. Well, that's uh, what you did, like, since yeah. four million times. Exactly. Um, and then, yeah, he fucking yeah, he's sucks his own dick about Titanic and all that. Like, shut up. Poor sport. Get out of here. Um, where was I? Michael sent this story. And actually, I actually reading this, it kind of, I was like, holy shit. I mean, because, so, a study finds that just 13% of video games released before 2010 are commercially available. So that what does mean, that mean? That means, so, like, anything, that, any game that was released before 2010, if you wanted to, say you wanted to just go to GameStop and buy it or find it in a PlayStation store or, uh-huh. you can't. Only 13% of games from before 2010 are available for purchase. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. I mean, because, yeah, there was more physical copies of di- than digital, but once, like, okay, if there's a digital copy of it out there, it should be available, right? but maybe that's it. Maybe there's only 13% of those games are digital. I thought, I thought what you were saying was... 
that commercial wouldn't commercially be like the physical copies. No, that just no. That means it, you're just available to buy it. Like it's commercially, oh. but like you can you're uh, you're out. It's out there for you to be able to buy. Mm. Which is that's kind of sad when you think about it. Like, damn, there's like a lot of games that from back in the day that like, like okay, so right now for example, right now I'm trying to find another copy of the Orange Box <coughs> for uh, PlayStation Three. The Orange Box. Yes, it had the it had Half Life and it had the original Portal on it. Oh, okay. I had it, and I don't know what the fuck happened to it. It's gone. I probably loaned it to somebody, and I don't talk to that person anymore. Or that person knows they have it and forgot they have, or forgot they have it. Or, uh-huh. You know, it's it's you know same thing. My GTA, my GTA Five, I had a physical version of it. Loaned uh-huh. it to somebody. I thought I loaned it to you. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> but that one's gone. No, you did loan it. To I me. did loan it to you. Okay, yeah. Um, what else? But yeah, so that's, so like I want to find Orange Box again, but shit. I remember like, finding that copy that I had was hard to find. You know what uh-huh. I mean? And then I, I was able to get it. And now I was like trying to find, like, and I got a pretty decent deal. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. So trying to find it now for that price. As a matter of fact, let me see. I'm going to pull it up right now. Let's see if I can find the Orange Box. The Orange Box. Oh, and it had um, Team Fortress 2 on it as well. It was Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Let me get it. Uh, you can get it on Steam for 10 bucks. But where can I get it? Where can I buy it physically? For PS3. Oh, 40 bucks online. See, I paid 10 bucks for it. Oh, yeah, or you can buy it. Uh, there's a new version of it on... Wait, is it the orange box on Xbox? I don't know. But, yeah, I've been wanting to play the original Portal for a while. Mm. Mm. You can't just buy it on digital? Nope. So. Which sucks. But, yeah, it's like there's, like, certain games, like, think about, it, like, some of the games you grew up playing. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't have them, you're not going to be able to play them ever again. Yeah. Um, well, if you have PC, you can yeah, I mean, that's true, because a lot of emulators. That's true. Um, I'm more hyped for ha- uh, Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yeah, it's going to be dope. Yeah, so we got Last of Us, and now we have Stranger Things. Like, fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm all in now. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be you're basically going to be in the Upside Down the whole time. Like, yeah, and then fucking Vecna is going to be, like, all over every corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be those iconic moments. Like, I remember, so, the Nightmare on Elm Street one, that one was so cool. Because, obviously, there was it was just Freddy Krueger everywhere. But, like, each room... Because, like, the, like you, I mean, you've been in those before, right? The mazes? Like, the way they set them up? Not the Halloween Horror Nights one. Yeah. So, it's, it's not necessarily a maze. It's like you go through a hallway, and then there's a room with, like, an attraction in it. Then you go to the next room, and there's another attraction in it, right? So, like, each room is, like, so it was, like different iconic scenes from the different horror like from the different movies right. which it was that was really fucking cool um i mean obviously there, there's jump scares in between and all the little shit here and there i hope at the last of us when we get a they get they have like a setup of uh, the first time you see a clicker oh yeah and, and like in like the those like the museum cases yeah and, like, that'd be and, fucking and crawl cool around them. yeah um <laughs> I still think that whole that whole maze is going to be episode three. It's just going to be just a different <laughs> scene of them making out. Oh, oh, it's so gay! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Uh. oh, it's so gay, but there's no dick and balls anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, the the most awkward scene in that episode was just the, the, that, kiss, the, yeah. the, yeah, the no, the bed where in there in bed, and like he's on top of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, it's no, just no. like, oh god. Yeah. Yeah, and then he like slowly like went down. Yeah, went down on him. Like even as an actor, like as like professionally doing that, like okay, yeah, it's like I'm aware of this. This is what we're gonna do, but it's still like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Um, why is that so warm? Is yours warm? It was. It's not as cold as it should. Yeah, be. Yeah, it's not as cold as it should. We gotta make sure the things not overheating because it's been hot as balls. Testament, the order of. High Human? Oh, yeah. This is, like, the worst reviewed game I've ever seen. Yeah, I've never seen any... I think I don't think I've seen anything lower than a four. 
No. Ever. I don't think so, yeah. IGN rated it a 2. What game is this, though? I don't even know. What would... No, it says... Yeah, I don't know what game it is. I, I, at first, I thought this was that Revenant game. No, no, no. So I was like, holy shit, I was so hyped about that one, and it's a 2. God damn it. That one got a 9. That one got a 9, yes. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm looking forward to that one now. Um, it's already out. I want to get it. Is it already? Yeah. Holy shit. I didn't know that. I should probably tell Michael because he said he, he might he, get he it. Might but get I don't it, yeah. think he realizes it's out. Yeah, I don't think he is. I don't, don't want to be like, are you going to get it? Yeah. So I'm like, I'll just get I'll just get it. I was going to say, I said I was going to get it. Yeah. Um, doctors reattach a boy's head after a car accident. I thought this was a fake story, and then I actually read the article. You said attach his head or de- detach they his head? They reattached his oh, head. Re-attached. So his head was detached. Uh-huh. Um, he's alive? He's alive. So what happened is, is, so, it's not as fantastical as it sounds, uh-huh. but it's still, like, his head wasn't, compl- like, it wasn't, wasn't like, completely detached. It, it was wasn't like, off. Hey. It was, like, so basically his spinal cord was still connected, mm-hmm. but, every, like, it, I think the spinal cord and one of the arteries was still connected, but the other one was disconnected. But his throat was, like, fucking gouged out yeah so it was like it was like almost like it was like all this part was gone yeah but like just just enough was hanging on that, that was keeping him alive mm-hmm. so they were able to reattach everything and he's he's still recovering obviously but i mean he's alive and he's uh-huh. has movement he can move his hands so, so how do you how do you lose all his neck from uh, in the, in car, the accident? car accident yeah mm-hmm. um yeah but what like a seat belt just like slice that shit open or what let me see he was hit by a car he was riding his bike. Oh, he was on a bike? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, that's why. Okay. It was an internal de- decapitation with the skull detached from the top of his vertebrae of the spine. Oh, so the skull was actually de- was, was de- uh, disconnected as well. So his, so his skull was disconnected from the rest of his... From but the, the nerves were still there. Gotcha. That's what it was. And then everything else was... He said he had a 50% survival rate. Yeah. So it was kind of like either... That's a higher survival rate than I think. Than yeah, I, than, you would, than you would imagine, yeah. Oh, uh, I was thinking like uh, he had like a fifteen percent chance of yeah. living, and they fucking did that shit. They did that shit, yeah. I know. Uh, don't forget uh, our, our, our shout out to our new sponsor, Woo Energy. Yeah, Woo, Woo Energy. Uh, <laughs> we got some Woo Energy. Yeah, yeah we do. Uh, <laughs> so, Ric Flair has entered the arena, the, the energy, uh, drink. <laughs> energy drink, arena. the energy drink arena. And and what else would you call his energy drink? You can't call you it anything can't, else. Yeah, woo! And you yeah. gotta say it like that, like yeah. like the hey, hey. Every time you take a sip, it say it's that. There you go. <laughs> woo! <laughs> uh, hey, I'm gonna run the story real quick. Anybody, hey, can you get me a woo? <laughs> woo! <laughs> you want a woo? <laughs> Who wants a woo? Who wants a woo? <laughs> yeah. Uh, whereas Logan Paul. Hey, can I get a woo? <laughs> Logan Paul is facing turmoil over his. Uh, a lot of people are, are complaining about the drink now. I guess the, like the flavor formulation has changed at some point. Yeah, the energy drink. Well, I don't know about the flavor formulation, but I know they're complaining about the uh, the energy drink. Like the, I think the caffeine is. They're saying it's super high. Yeah. But I think it's three hundred milligrams. Uh, I think they advertise two hundred though. Oh, okay. But on the, I think the can says like if you actually look at the like if you look, so I always like look at like if you look at here it'll sh- it'll show you like the milligrams like under uh-huh. the nutritional facts. Uh-huh. It'll normally say like oh however many milligrams of caffeine per serving, and so maybe per ser- hopefully it's not three hundred milligrams per serving. Fuck, that's mm-hmm. a lot. Um, so because like like so like a monster re- like the regular tall can of monster is one hundred and sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, the small Red Bulls are eighty. Ray's energy is 300. Ray's is 300, yeah. Uh, Ray's and uh, most of the other competitors are 300. Yeah, most pre work are 300. Yeah, Bang's 300. Uh, Rockstar is 160, but they have a couple 300 milligram versions. Uh, so Rain is 300. Yeah, Rain is 300. Um, most of the C4 ones that are. C4 has a 300 and a 200. Yeah. Most uh, of the ones that are marketed towards, like, working out are yeah, 300 milligrams. Uh, yeah. Like, you're supposed to take. It's not. It's not. This is. You're not going to drink this to start your day. You're going to drink this before you go to the gym kind of thing like that's what yeah because you're because you need to expend energy yeah in order to use it. Uh, <laughs> playstation pasta is now available in the uk oh yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna import some chef boy rd playstation pasta yeah. mm-hmm. 
Oh, I'm all about it. Uh, <laughs> this, Chef PlayStation only. <laughs> this this article, I was kind of like when I read the headline on this one, I was kind of like, eh. I mean, I can understand why, but so PlayStation says Horizon, the Horizon franchise will continue for a very long while. Yeah, I don't know, but I feel like the last one was a flop. I feel like it was as well. It was a flop. Um, I could see, like, oh, they're going to try one more time on another game. But if that one doesn't do good, then they should probably move on to something else. I, I agree. Hey, right, cut it out. Um, but, yeah, I feel like they're trying to build. like It's because it's she's become one of their iconic characters. She's in all the... You know how, like, they, Sony has that, or the PlayStation has that new, like, kind of like the Marvel thing where it, like, shows all the... Past yeah. characters, like she's in all of it. It's like, but, yeah, but I don't know if she actually is. I don't think she should be. No, like the story wise, story wise and character wise, she's been kind of, she's kind of mid. And yeah, the story's mid. Yeah, the only thing that's good, the what makes that game, at least the first game, so good, is just the gameplay. Right? Yeah, yeah. And fucking hunting down all these robot dinosaurs, figuring out all their weaknesses is super fucking fun. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, same goes for two. The story is not very good. Yeah, the game the gameplay is more more what was the, the meat of, of what makes it popular, but even then it's not it's not it didn't carry over enough. Like it didn't upgrade enough. And I feel like, but okay, I feel like to be honest, that PlayStation forces that one because she's a female antagonist. Yeah, like she's the main character and it's a female character, which I get. Like okay, yeah, you want like there needs to be more of that, but at the same time, this she's not it. Yeah, or you just need to make her better. Make her a better character. Make her a better character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's no. She hasn't had an iconic moment like Kratos. Yeah. Or even Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. <laughs> having a fucking three games in a row being fucking on fire. Exactly. Like, you know, like, the more recent games are are whatevers, but that's. I mean, Crash has had his time in camp. He he became a PlayStation icon with work. Yeah. Like he he was a franchise, and like the franchise, the reason it was a franchise was because it was successful. Yeah, like especially in an era where games were like, all right, if you're not successful, you're you're never gonna see that game again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like games were just pumped out back then, and now Crash Bandicoot came out, and it was a successful, highly successful game. All right, let's do another one, and then which was highly successful as well, and it was good, and then that's why that game had the legacy that it had. Whereas this one, she had one game. It had, she's a legend. Yeah, <laughs> it, it had it had mid mid success, and they're like, "Oh fuck yeah!" Um, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me see here. Cyberpunk finally has a positive rate or re- review rating. <laughs> so for two years, oh, yeah. it's been it's been uh, in the negative. So it's now now it finally has a positive review rating instead of. Yeah. The, and then with the new uh, with the new the DLC with the new DLC, supposedly they're revamping a lot of shit. Nice. What they're doing. I might, I might pick it up. I might pick it up. The DLC. It. Yeah. I think, I think player two. Depends on what else is coming out around that time. I think, I think, I think it comes out in October, which is hot for for games. For games, yeah, yeah. So Big 10. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe like later. Yeah, yeah. Let, let things like once there's that, that summer slump next summer. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Rockstar has shut down a real life Cluck and Bell restaurant. So I saw this on TikTok. There was a pop up Cluck and Bell, and it had Sprunk and it. Had, <laughs> like it had, had all the GTA stuff. Had all the GTA stuff. The 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 people in the in the store were actually were actually GTA avatars. Yeah, they were actually yeah. They're all pixelated for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> taste the cuck. Taste the cuck. Yeah. Uh, taste. Uh, so apparently, Rockstar heard about it and they're like, no. Guess that is. Oh, it wasn't them. It wasn't there. I thought it was, when, I, when I first saw it, I thought it was them. I was like, oh, that's fucking uh-huh. awesome. Yeah. But no, it was just. It was like a pop-up. Kind of like, uh, you know the, the Scum and Villainy Cantina in Hollywood? Mm-hmm. That, that was only supposed to be a pop-up. That was supposed to be from, like, six months. It was supposed to be for six months. And it was just going to be a temporary location, pop-up, and then it was never going to be a thing again. But it became so popular, they're like, fuck, let's make this a real thing. Mm-hmm. And I think, but they had to go through licensing. Yeah. And they had to get all this stuff, like, because it's not a Star Wars, it's just... It's called the Scum and Villainy Cantina, and it has some Star Wars related items in it. Mm-hmm. But it's not like the Star Wars Cantina, where this one was yeah. flat out called Cluck and Bell. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like from GTA. From GTA, yeah. Um, let me see here. 
And like when they're talking about the scum and villainy, like they're you're like obviously you know what cantina they're talking about because you know there's never been a more of a. <laughs> yeah. They're playing the music. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's one of those things where like it's it's like yeah, we're we're referencing it, but we're not using it. Where these people were like, it's fucking Clucking Bell from GTA. Yeah. Hey, you guys play GTA? <laughs> you ever want to try their fried chicken in the game? <laughs> Here you go. Um. All right, now I'm, I'm now we're finally at the fucking Comic Con stuff. This week's this week's, <laughs> this week's news. Stuff. Yes, uh, Invincible comic series is getting its first ever video game, which I'm hyped about. And you said you just want season two. I just want season two, and then they're like, and then they're season, like two. season two, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, which I feel like. What, how long was it? It's been more than a year, it's hasn't been two it? Two years. Yeah. yeah, so I thought that thought, I was like, fuck. I feel like that lady from the Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> it's been two years. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so right after that, they announced that the fucking. So we're getting a game and we're getting season two. Uh, season two starts when? November 3rd, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, and then the game, they don't have an, uh, uh, an announced date for it. But um, even the game's if, probably next year or something. Yeah, I'm assuming. Um, I'm all in on that. Yeah, but what kind of game? I don't care. If It'd it's a like... school or beat em up, I don't care. If it's fucking Spider Man esque, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play as Mark, get yep, beat uh, the shit out of at, by his dad. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and I want to make a mean out of it, all right? Exactly. <laughs> um, which, yeah, I'm, I'm all in on So, But on top of that news, Omni-Man is going to be in Mortal Kombat 1. And Homelander. And Homelander. And, and Peacemaker. And Peacemaker. And J.K. Simmons is voicing Omni-Man. No, this is another Superman-like guy. Isn't there? No, know. it's oh um. Hold on, let me let me go let me pull it up. I have it down here. Commander, uh, Omni Man. I think those were the only three that were. Homelander, Peacemaker, and Omni Man are coming to Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then Quan Chi, Ermac, and Takeda are also going to be in that same DLC package. Mm-hmm. So I'm buying it. <laughs> I'm fucking. But they those motherfuckers. They got. Waiting for the legendary. I'm, I'm not waiting for the legendary. I'm. Fucking, God damn it. Um, yeah, J.K. Simmons has, they have confirmed that he is, well, they've confirmed, he's, they've confirmed he's voicing the other one, uh, his character. He, if he's voicing their, his character, that he has to, they have to get Anthony Starr. Yeah. And John Cena. I mean, John Cena. It, it's not like, it's not like it would be hard, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, because maybe you could probably get John Cena's, vo- a, a different voice actor for John Cena. And you'd probably be okay, but it still wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same, yeah. And then Anthony Starr, I don't think you could replace that dude. No. He's so good as Homelander. Like, I don't think you can get another person to voice Homelander. But what if, what if they just use AI? Like, because, I mean, they can, like, based on his body of work, they can just, like, get all his stuff and just... I don't think they can. You don't think so? No. I mean, I literally heard fucking Frank Sinatra singing fucking... Well, that's the whole thing with the with the strikes right now, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's part of what. It, so, did you hear what one of the, what they wanted to do for like for like extras? Mm-hmm. So, as an extra, you would come in, you'd get paid your three hundred dollars for one day of work. They would <clears> scan <throat> you from the crowd, and yeah. then they can use your likeness forever. <laughs> yeah, it's like what the fuck? <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, bullshit. You're gonna hire me every fucking time. Exactly. Dude. Or at least or pay I, me. Or I have to get residuals. Every yeah, at least, time yeah. for like every minute of screen time you put me on the on the screen. Exactly. Um. Speaking of AI, uh, James Cameron, <laughs> uh, he says, I warned you guys in 1984, but you guys didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, James Cameron just knows everything. Well, I mean, he put out Terminator. And it was like that. The whole movie is about AI taking over. And... Well, whatever. Just because you made a movie, doesn't mean you know everything. <laughs> um, He's so full of himself. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, I, I I saw this and I, I saw this announcement and I was like, that's fucking cool. I would like to do this, but at the same time, then I then, I, then like I kind of thought realistically about cons. So in twenty twenty five, Comic Con the cruise. Look pretty cool. That sounds dope, right? Um, Is it for a weekend though, or what? It's a five day cruise from Tampa to uh, Mexico, mm-hmm. and. It's all Comic Con related. Like it's going to be a nerd cruise, right? It's going to be the new San Diego Comic Con. That's what it seems like. But think about this, though. 
what type of people go to comic cons? What kind of like, smelly. what is a smelly nerdy guys? Yes. So you are like a bunch of smelly nerdy guys you're just on, on a boat. boat. <laughs> you're just and, see because at least you can leave the convention center. You uh-huh. can get some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, but that that stench isn't gonna stay on the boat. It's gonna be in the rooms. Yeah, and, and okay. it's not crowded like that on a crew. On like they can't overcrowd. They can't overcrowd a crew. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I mean, I still I just picture just that's that's in my head. Well, I that's, guess they could overcrowd a cruise, but then we're gonna have like the second coming of the Titanic <laughs> <laughs> sort of deal. But, <laughs> Turns out that's what they wanted all along. It was just they're just gonna weed out it was a bunch fucking of the James Cameron's idea. Fucking <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> 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 Oh god! <laughs> I just oh, picture- I'm gonna be. I'm gonna make another movie out of this one. I just pictured like the the, the everyone's loading up on the cruise ship and James Cameron's there waving off. He's got a rope in his hand for whatever reason, <laughs> waving at everybody. It starts to, starts to pull away as it's gotten to where they can't. He pulls a rope. A tarp falls off the back of the boat and it just says Titanic Two coming <laughs> coming too soon to theaters. <laughs> like evil grid just like (laughs) oh fuck (laughs) but this time it's with actually Leonardo DiCaprio and not Leonardo DiCaprio playing Jack yeah he's he's on there for autographs he falls in love with just some plain plain Jane (laughs) as long as she's under 23 yep um let me see here. So, oh, uh, Barbie has blown away Oppenheimer during the... Yeah, in the box office, I figured. The box office, yeah, 20, 20, uh, $22.3 million. And, ju- and that's not even the opening weekend. That's just a preview the weekend. The, oh, okay. So, because so, it came it technically opened Thursday. Yeah. So, that's just Thursday to Friday. Yeah. It made $22.3 million. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I... Would, I, mean, I kind of figured Oppenheimer was going to be the more critically acclaimed movie. Yeah, and where, probably going to be the more commercially successful. Yeah, yeah which I can see. Because, like, Oppenheimer is, it lo- I mean, it looks great. It looks amazing. And I definitely want I want to see it. But it wasn't my, like, oh, I need to rush to the theater to watch this yeah. kind of movie. Um, let me see here. Ooh, uh, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths movie announced. Um, one of the best comic series I've ever read uh, came out in I every think, comic series you read is the best comics. 83 or 85 no but it's one of those ones it's, it's an iconic like it's it's like the Dark Knight right? like, you know the Dark Knight Returns it's uh-huh. like the, the long Halloween Crisis on Infinite Earths is one of those like iconic like fuck this, this is what paved the way this is why comic books are so good nowadays because of stories like this mm-hmm. shit like this um and at the same time, it, I guess it's another opportunity for them to reboot the fucking Warner Brothers DC universe. Yeah. Uh, basically, what happens is all of the multiverses are being destroyed by this guy called the Anti Controller. No, mm-hmm. Anti Monitor. So there's the Monitor, who's made of positive ener- positive matter, mm-hmm. and then there's the Anti Monitor, who's made out of antimatter. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and what happens? Obviously, it's another Flash fucking focus story. So, I mean, hopefully it's so not... So, we got to have another movie with Ezra yeah, Miller, yeah, baby. That's the thing. It's, it's another, like... It's, like, basically, uh, The Flash is kind of... Like, it's, it, he's very... He made have you seen The Flash yet? I have not. I, uh, I thought it was on uh, streaming now. It, it is, and I... I just... I'm hesitant to watch just it. Just watch it. No, it's not, it's not that... It, it's it, it's actually a good movie. Yeah, I know. It's but just it's, the physical... The, the visual effects are a little... Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't want to support Ezra Miller in this fucking movie. Like, I don't think it's supporting him. All right. You know what? No, I'm going to bootleg it, and then watch it, and then... There we go. There that go. way I'm not supporting him. <laughs> I'm actually taking money from him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, the Crisis on Infinite Earths is... All, all these multiverses are being destroyed, and at the end, there's only two left. And I think they get mer- they're, they're merging into one. They're trying to stop them from merging into one, because... You can't have two universes in the same space because they're going to destroy each other. But it's 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 good. It's a good series. Uh, so I'm good for that. Uh, Borderlands movie officially releases August 9th, 2024. 
I don't know if I need a Borderlands movie. I don't think I need a Borderlands movie either. It's got uh, Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Ariana it's, Greenblatt. Yeah, I don't know who that might is. Might as well put The Rock in there. It's going to be fucking Jumanji. Yep. Jamie Lee <laughs> Curtis and Florian Montal. Montanau? I don't know who that is. I don't know who Ariana Greenblatt is either. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Let's see. Oh, an animated Watchmen, a Watchmen movie. Oh yeah, I saw that movie. Uh, they've just announced it. They haven't. Uh, it's going to be part of HBO miniseries. That was a good miniseries, though. Huh? Yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. No, I, I admit that I read that wrong. It's la- it hasn't last it has it was last seen on screen as an HBO miniseries. Oh, I see. Uh, they don't know how they're going to approach it yet, but it's just you know, they've announced that we're going to do an animated movie. Oh, so they haven't like. Nothing's even... No, there's just announced that it's going to happen, yeah. Probably uh, means it's like three three years out. Probably. Um, either way, it sounds... I'm in. And The Watchmen is like a great, another great series. Uh, Captain America Brave New World. Okay, we already know about that. Uh, something about... Let's see here. Uh, Blade has been pushed back to February 14th, 2025. I think all the movies are going to get pushed back like a year. Yeah. Because of the strikes. Uh, Daredevil Born Again. Let me see here. Even Deadpool. I doubt Deadpool's going to make it to... Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they pushed it up, right? And then, like, it's probably going to be like, now nah, we're going back to it. Yeah, we're going to go back to the original. <laughs> I might even go later. Yep. Later. Thunderbolts has been pushed back to December 2020, uh, 2024. Uh, phase 6 in the MCU... Uh, Fantastic Four is going to be pushed back to May twenty or May second, twenty twenty five. Two new Avenger movies. Uh, also, <laughs> everything yeah, everything being pushed back. Everything. Oh, this is, is this everything Marvel? Oh, that yeah, it is. I was like, why is this only Marvel? I, I, <laughs> I searched everything uh, announced at, at Comic Con, and this is everything Marvel announced at Comic Con. But I thought Marvel said they weren't going to be a Comic. They weren't going to be, but they they they're still doing some announcement just based on you know. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Oh, I didn't know Eli Roth is directing the Borderlands movie. I like it. I like it. What Eli does he Roth. do? He did um, Hostel. He did Cabin Fever. He's mo- mostly a horror director. Mm-hmm. But he's also done... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of some of his more newer stuff. I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. Those are just two of the... Because like, I love Cabin Fever. Yeah. Uh, Star Trek Strange New World don't care about that The Walking Dead I really don't care about that anymore oh yeah they're gonna have a new spin off yeah, series it's only gonna be Megan and Maggie yeah um John Wick the Continental will debut September 22nd on Peacock what's that it's a spin off series of John Wick just based about the hotel oh okay. so, I'm assuming, it's like, based on what I, what I saw about it, it seems like it's going to be just different, like, uh, Hitmen's, yeah, different uh, Hitmen's, Assassins, you know, coming through and just, their stories. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah. But they gotta make them, like, not as cool as John Wick. Yeah, it, it can be. They can still gotta be interesting, but yeah, they can be as, yeah. Um, have you seen the One Piece trailer for this live-action One Piece? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, the newest one looks all right. It looks better. The, the first one looked really bad. Yeah. I just feel like these Netflix live action enemies are just not... They're never good. Yeah. There's, it's kind of like the video game thing where, like, just, there just hasn't been a good one yet. Yeah. Well, at least now until Last of Us. Last of Us is probably, like, the first objectively good yeah. video game. Movie. Yeah. Yeah, like, live like, action. To, yeah. TV live action thing. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I agree. I think this this movie might pave the way for a good one to come out. I have a feeling it's not going to be a good one, though. Yeah, I doubt um, it either. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it at the moment. I mean, today is the last day of Comic-Con. I'm bummed we couldn't get out there this year. Mm-hmm. I, I, I really wanted to. I think next year for sure we got to get out there. Yeah, I'm down to go. I'm, I'm yeah, down to go. I want to get tickets. Yeah, me too. I, I would tickets. love to. So I'm down to get tickets for that, and then not go to Anime Expo next year. Yeah, if that's what it takes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, good with, I'm I'm down with that too. So yeah, I see that's the plan. So look for us next year, San Diego Comic Con. 
we'll let you know keep you updated <laughs> Um, I think on that note, let's go and wrap this up. Yep. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash The Real Press Start. On Twitter at Real Press Start. On Instagram at The Real Press Start. Like us, rate us, review. Oh, don't no, TikTok at The Real Press Start. Like us, rate us, review us. Anywhere you get your podcast. Now that note, game over. No more questions. <laughs>